When you first start Adobe Premiere Pro, this is what you're going to see. This is the start screen. And there are a couple of options on here. The two that we're really interested in are the option to create a new project and the option to open an existing project. A Premiere Pro project file is a file like any other. All of your creative decisions are going to be stored in that file. We can open one of these up by double clicking on them, but I'm going to show you from inside the start screen first of all. I'm just going to click back into Premiere Pro and I'm going to click on Open Project. You should be familiar with this dialog. This is in Windows, of course. This is Windows Explorer. And if we were on Mac OS, this would be a Finder dialog. It's just going to allow us to open a file. So I'm going to select this 0101, uh, create a project, Premiere Pro project file, and I'm going to click Open. And here we are now in Premiere Pro looking at this project. There's not much going on right now. Over at the bottom right here, we've got the timeline panel. I'm just going to click a little earlier in the sequence here where you can see we've got a number of clips all lined up ready to make a program. And when I do that at the top right in this program monitor, you can see this is the program monitor. It's showing us our master sequence. We get the visuals from that series of clips. Another important panel for you to be familiar with is this one down at the bottom left. This is the project panel. And you see every panel has its name at the top left hand corner. This is the project panel and it's showing me the contents of the project I've just opened, 0101 Create a Project. Inside of this panel I've got something that looks a bit like a folder. It's a bin in Premiere Pro and in that bin I've got some clips. If I double click to open one of these you can see it opens in this source monitor at the top left corner. This is for previewing the videos that you've got in your project. You can play them back and just have a look and see if you want to use them or not. And over on the right here, the program monitor is for looking at the sequence that you're building. That's the film that you're making, if you like. Okay, so that's how to open a project. I'm just going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose close project. And Premiere Pro is inviting me to save changes. There aren't any really. But you'll notice up at the top here next to the project name, and it's quite useful because we've got the location of the project as well. I'm on a Windows machine, so this is a C drive rather than a system drive or another kind of plugged in drive. And I've got this little asterisk next to the name that tells me that some kind of change has happened. That change might just be that I'm looking at a different part of the project, so I'm not too concerned, and I'm going to click No. Back on the Start screen, this time I'm going to click New Project. I'm going to call this First Project. And if I click Browse, we get a familiar Browse dialog where we can choose the location for the new project file. You can always move it later on, of course, but I'm happy with it being here in my media folder. So I'll choose Select Folder. I'm not worried about the rest of the options for now. I'm just going to click OK. And here we are in an empty Premiere Pro project. The first thing we're going to want to do is get some media in, get some video files into the project. So I'm going to go to the media browser. And the media browser is going to allow me to look through the contents of my storage to find the clips, the video files, the photos and graphics and so on that I want to use in my project. I'm going to browse into the media files folder and I'm not going to pay too much attention right now, but I'm going to select some of these clips. I'm just going to scroll down here and Actually, I think I'm pretty much happy to have all of this. So I'm going to press, in this case, Control A. Well, that would be Command A on Mac OS to select everything here. I could make individual selections if I like, but I'm happy to have all of these. And I'm going to right click on any of them and I'm going to choose Import. And there we are. Now, inside our project panel, we've got a list of clips. These are pieces of video. And if I double click on any of these, they open up in the source monitor for me to take a look and decide if I want to use them. So now we have a project file with some media imported and we're ready to get started reviewing our footage and editing clips together. For now though, I'm going to go to the file menu again and I'm going to choose Close Project. I will save the changes and we're back to the start screen. So that's opening an existing project, creating a new one and importing some media ready for you to start working in Adobe Premiere Pro.